Porsche Sport Driving School up in Birmingham, Alabama. So I see a lot of different um, levels of, of driving come in to drive the Porsche lineup. One of the biggest areas where people, even the most experienced drivers, get wrong is the downshift. Downshifting seems like a pretty simple thing, but it's an area that produces the most amount of problem uh, if you don't do it right. The first thing that people do is they, they don't realize how great the Porsche brakes are. So they get the braking uh, and, the, and the force that they're using on the braking wrong. And then, so we've got to work one on, on getting the braking down correctly. Then once they get the braking down, then we're going to have them match the downshift to the braking. So when do you do the downshift? And, that, and that's a learning process. You don't want to do it too soon. You don't want to do it too late. It has to be done before they actually turn the steering wheel into the, into the corner. Then we have to get, we introduce a blip um, to match the engine speed to the axle speed so there's no chirp in the rear tires. And so we try to get that. If people ask me what the most important thing they're going to learn, it's your eye discipline. You, what your eyes are, are looking at tells the rest of your body what to do. Look where you want to go, not where you're going. You're always constantly going back and forth. When people you know, ask me about that, I sort of run, when I'm driving, a 360 degree circle around me. You know, that's uh, an element, and when they're driving a road like the, the Tail of the Dragon, you really have to be looking out well beyond the place where the car is uh, at, at the moment. And you have to sort of get into a system where you're, you're not you know, going too fast for the condition because that is a, a public highway. You do have oncoming traffic. So you, and you don't want to get into a situation where you're going to have to use a road that is occupied by somebody else. So.